You know the plan, right? What am I saying? You practically wrote it. Everything you need is in your bag, so let's synchronize our watches on three. Three! Perfect. Now, stick to the plan, and you'll be just fine. But if you deviate from it for even a single moment, I won't come back for you. Okay? Good luck. What do you think you're doing? Oh no, not the old steak trick. I'm not falling for that twice. Yeah, put the steak down. I'm not even gonna look at the steak. Look at you, right in the eyes. I looked at the steak. Oh. Oh. Shh. <laughs> Nicely done, buddy. All according to plan. And speaking of plan, looks like we are. Uh, uh, yeah, we're moving on to phase two. You ready? On my go. Tracks the intruder. Quiet as a ninja suppressing a fart in church. Ha <laughs> ha! There she is. Three legged woman. Got you now. Oh, this? Just my gun. You're safe with me, ma'am. Step the balls. I mean, who's there? Come back! Great job, buddy. I'll meet you over there. One for you, one for me. All right, here we go. One, two, three, security! security. <laughs> Love this job. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. This wasn't in the plans. There are two keys for this vault. We need to get them from those guards or any guards that are moderately less competent than those. Why don't you go back the way we came? And why don't I have a little bit of a chat with that guard over there? Be back in a flash. Be back in a flash. friendly when we're in here with the box and the bomb and gun. So, either one's good. Sewer will probably work all quiet like, but, you know, I like a little action. But stealth is good, too. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Fire in the... Fire in the hole! Now, if I know my medieval weaponry, we've probably got about 15 seconds before that puppy blows. So, when it does, I'll dash right. <laughs> Right there. 
it in here. Oh, yes, it's perfect. It's perfect. All right, come on, come on, come on. Where's the light? Uh, is this it? Oh. <sighs> side of this room and then we'll be home free hey i think they might be in here maybe they didn't mean in here i was right they are in here Run! Yeah, that makes sense. I guess ancient gunpowder would be ancient. Anyway, we should get going. They got us still on our tail, so quickly through here. Okay, we're safe for now, but we're not out of the woods. What we need is a vehicle to get us back to the base safely and quietly. So keep your eyes up. Whoa! Okay. Um, this could be perfect. We've got a helicopter and some kind of uh, car. Either one will be good, but I think that one flies, and that one drives, probably. So, uh, maybe that one will be, like, quicker, but maybe louder. I don't think we want that. That one could be slower, but quieter. That seems like a really stealthy vehicle. The bright red kind of gives it away, but I'll leave this one up to you. I mean, I, I can't make these choices. I'm crippled with indecision, so you gotta do it for me. Yeah, good call. To be honest... I don't even know how to fly a helicopter. But come on, they might still be behind us. So we gotta get in and get out. And we gotta do that real quiet. So, uh, hop in. All right, I'm gonna figure out how to hotwire this bad boy. Uh, uh, okay, I got it. All right, this is working. We're gonna get... No. Okay, uh, hold on. I know how to lose him. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, take that. <laughs> what, you see something? Oh, come on. Don't lose your head. We're not out of the woods yet. <laughs> All right, anyway, no time for jokes. We're pulling off here. Hold on. And I think we're good. Let me consult my map real quick, but we are right where we need to be. We're doing great. And we've got the box. Oh. Now all we need to do is lie low and wait for the heat to die down. And then we can enjoy the fruits of our labor. But with those police patrolling around, we should probably stay here for a little bit longer. Why don't you take a nap? I'll take first watch, and I'll wake you up if there's any problems, any bandits, any anything. Sweet dreams. Good morning, sleepyhead. Hope you slept well. There were no ambushes, no cops, no bears, no monsters in the woods, no nothing. For once, a plan went off without a hitch. So all you need to do is sit back, enjoy some breakfast while I drive us back to home base. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Because I don't think we're that far from base, so we could always just walk straight through the woods over there and find it. Conversely, uh, I could try to fix the engine. I've seen at least one YouTube video on engines, so I kind of know what they look like. I'd have to guess, though. Uh, I've never seen this one before, but how different could engines be, honestly? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. What do you think? I feel pretty confident that I could do either of these equally as good oh. oh okay well if you're sure but could you hold on to the box just be 
be very careful with it. Oh, boy. All right, let's get to it. Oh. Maybe it won't be that bad, you know? The weather's hot, but nice, you know? The air is good. It's good for the body, the lungs, the kidneys, the gallbladder. Oh. Well, this looks promising. Whoa. Okay. So if we just go... Whoa! Ooh, crap. Uh, I mean, I know we robbed a museum, but I didn't know it caused such a loss. I just need to know if it's that important. Maybe I can get you some cough drops. Maybe you could, like, use a rock and think it's a cough drop. Like, we don't have lots of options to deal with right now. Hello? Hi? Answer me! No, you're not okay? Wait, so no, you're not not okay? Okay. Anyway, if you're good, then we need to find out what's actually happening out there. Seems like the gunfire died down at least. Maybe it's not so bad. Oh, sweet baby Jesus! Oh, my God! The world is ending! Also, on fire! Ah! Ah! Well, maybe that'll be the worst of it. Either way, we gotta figure this out. What we don't know is what's actually happening out there. Oh, the pig! Damn this very obvious zombie apocalypse! What the hell? I mean, I can make an educated guess as to what's happening, but we need solid info if we're gonna make it out here alive. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, a zombie's eating my legs! It's got both of my legs! Not the pinky toe zombie, that's my. <laughs> Let's find something to help us survive. All right, now keep your eyes peeled. There's got to be something in here that's going to... Whoa! A radio. Oh, perfect. Emergency broadcast. This is not a drill. Stay in your homes and lock your doors. Do not try to establish contact with loved ones. This is an emergency... That's depressing. Are you having a bad day? Well, why not stop by Fort Brannigan? We're the last military stronghold left against the zombie hordes. We're holding and we are very trusting of pretty much anyone. So stop by if you're not too busy and we'll treat you real good. There's food and shelter and hot showers and free prime ribs. Just take a left at the diner and follow the signs. Well, that sounds promising. <laughs> Fine. At my research lab, I may have figured out what's happening here. I just need some help. Please, anyone in the nearby area, come to my lab. Just take a right at the diner and follow the signs. That sounds like work. I don't know. Trust some science nut or trust an equally trusting military type person. You've been pretty good at making choices. I don't know you take another crack at this one. But I'm telling you, free prime rib could be good. Could be great. Hot showers, free food, a trusting man. It could be good stuff for the both of us. Or the science nut. That's also a possibility. Awesome. I was thinking the same thing. Free prime rib. Honestly, if you had made the other option, I might have had to veto it. No offense, but that science lady sounds crazy. All right, now follow me. I think the coast is clear. 
Looks like the shooting and or fighting has moved on from here, so stick close to me and keep an eye out for that sign. It's, oh, well, hey, I think it's through here. Come on, come on. Hello? Hello? Damn. I don't think anybody's here. Oh, well. Must have been an old broadcast. Maybe there's still some supplies we can scavenge. Like, <laughs> Well, hi, Fred. Oh, hi. Wow, you startled me. I didn't mean to do that. This is this is the friendliest military installation on this side of the diner. Oh, well, if it's so friendly, why are you pointing a gun at me? That's because we've had some trust issues as of late. It turns out it only takes one bad apple to ruin Crime Rip Sunday. And, you know, I thought it was going to be one of the new random people that just joined us to betray us. But no, it turns out it was my best friend who thought... Who I've been through thick and thin with, they thought it was a good idea to not tell me they were bit by a zombie. And do you know what happens when someone decides to be a jerk and turn into a zombie in the middle of the night? <laughs> Everybody dies? Everybody dies! Except me! Good old trusted it. Left alive to clean up the mess. <laughs> Come on, you've done such a good job cleaning. But don't worry, there's prime rib for the three of us. Oh! Well, that's great, thank you. We really appreciate it. Well, I need it. you to take your clothes off first. Wait, wait, what? I need you to take off your clothes. I gotta inspect you for zombie bites. I guess you could call me cautious head now. Wait, no, that's a complete invasion of privacy. We're not gonna take our clothes off. Okay, okay. What are you hiding? Wait, we're nothing. We're clean. Clean as a whistle. <laughs> okay, drop your pants. Why do you think I've been bit on the dick? Because the dick! It's the most biteable part of the human body! That doesn't make sense! Billy got dick back! Who's Billy? Oh! Why are you so desperate to see us pass? <laughs> what, what do you mean? <laughs> oh, you know what I mean. So you were the only survivor of that incident, huh? Yeah, so? <laughs> so, I'm thinking you're desperate to hide something from us. I, I, I haven't, I haven't been bit. I, 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 I uh, don't throw this back on me. I, I, uh, You've been bit, haven't you? Yeah. God, yeah. I bet there's no prime rib left either. I, I got hungry and, and only. Oh, damn it, Ed. No prime rib. Uh, hold this. Okay. I figured I was dead anyway, so I just, I just ate all of it. Oh, this is yours. Oh, it is. I ate all of it. I even, I even rigged the whole place to blow because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to turn and hurt anyone else. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You rigged the whole place to blow? Yeah, yeah, real, uh, real sophisticated, like too, with a timer and everything. Well, I honestly, we got only about, I think we got about thirty seconds till the whole place is blown to hell. But well, I'm not very good with numbers. For all I know, there could be about maybe. <laughs> This is it. The world's coming to an end. Everyone's gone crazy, and ooh, we're the only sane ones left. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, that sucks. There's nothing we can do about it now, though. Oh. Do you still have the box? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. I was gonna wait until we got back to base, but no time like the present, huh? As you know, this... It's the world's oldest picnic basket. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, boy. Oh, man. <laughs> it's perfect. Yeah, it's crazy. This thing was going to fetch a fortune on the black market. But there's... But anyway. But the most amazing thing about it is that the sandwiches inside are probably perfectly preserved over the past 2,000 years. 
And look. And look at that. Perfectly preserved. Looks like we're working with, um, <coughs> PB and J. And, uh, <coughs> tuna. Oh, boy. I don't know which one I want first. They're both so appetizing. Uh, since you're going to go all zombie on me, maybe, maybe you should be the one to pick. It's only fair. Which one do you want? <laughs> Just leave enough for me, and I'll be happy. It's the only little bit of happiness I got left here. Yeah. Maybe you want both of them? No. I guess I gotta eat one. Ah, PB and J. Always a classic choice. Here. For a 2,000-year-old sandwich, it really wasn't that bad. I mean, the peanut butter had turned to dust and the jelly had run to slime. But somehow, they combined into a taste sensation that would haunt you for the rest of your days. You still turned into a zombie, but to be perfectly honest, it wasn't so bad. Sure, you're still undead, but something about that sandwich made you a lot less aggressive than your typical zombie. With you vouching for him, the zombies didn't seem to mind Mark all that much. And with Mark vouching for you, the remaining humans don't seem to mind you either. You both make some friends, find a community to protect, and carve out a nice little life for yourselves in the far-flung future. All together, not so bad. But that sandwich, it was terrible.